Frankie McDonald wanted to be a weatherman ever since he was a small kid growing up here in Sydney, Cape Breton, which has no shortage of extreme winds and wild weather. When he first began posting his videos to YouTube, he never could have predicted his meteoric rise to becoming one of Canada's most well-known weather personalities. He's probably the most popular weatherman in Cape Breton, that's for sure. And he's done it all with his own hands. Using a cell phone and high-speed internet, Frankie posts his forecasts and warnings for a sizable internet audience that keeps on growing. When I was a little boy, I used to watch Weather Network a lot. When I want to be a grown-up, grow up, I want to be a weatherman. Now I do a lot of YouTube videos to warn people to get them prepared now. Cape Bretoners are very proud of Frankie the Weatherman and wish him all the best as he continues to keep us safe from Mother Nature. Here's my major blizzard. Through internet research, Frankie gathers information on weather events from around the globe before presenting on his YouTube channel. I study the weather models. I look up at various websites like AccuWeather.com, the weather channel, and study the weather models like GFS European NAAVGE and NAM models. He's become a hometown hero in Sydney. Everybody knows Frankie. Everybody listens to his reports. Everybody loves Frankie. Anytime that you can get someone from Sydney uh, exposed like that, it helps us helps Cape Breton, helps tourism, everything. One Halifax-based clothing company recently announced plans to begin selling Frankie t-shirts with a portion of sales going to Autism Nova Scotia. My celebrity status are getting a lot bigger all the time now. My celebrity and my fame is on the rise. Frankie's videos have received more than 11 million views since June of 2011. For the Weather Network, I'm Nathan Coleman in Sydney, Nova Scotia.